process. And uh, now we're going to uh, end a visual gap test. Good visual gap test. Okay, we're going to open the valve. Uh, I want you to uh, assess the side loads, press the button down, and move the valve forward. Okay, forward. Okay, that's complete. Check aft white visible, D10 button up. Aft white sound visible, D10 button is up. Verify D10 button can be depressed. Can be depressed. And if you'll rotate the locking collar to the locked position. Okay, it's unlocked. Okay, that's good news. We've got that one done. If you'll replace the thermal booty and close the TA clamps as required. It works. And Houston copies, well done. This is Mission Control Houston. Daniel Levis and Krister Fugelsang have completed all of the connections of the uh, fluid lines, the nitrogen pressurization lines, and the electrical connections for the new ammonia tank assembly. Olivas and Fugelsang continue to operate with maximum efficiency. Next up uh, will be the ungrapple of the old ammonia tank assembly from its grapple uh, point at the end of the Canadarm II for a handoff by Olivas over to Fugelsang to begin to maneuver the spent tank back down toward Discovery's cargo bay to be bolted in place on the uh, cargo pallet at the rear of the payload bay. Thank you, you have the whole tank. Thank you. Thank you, good job. So, Danny, if you feel like they're clear, then we can give Kevin a go to maneuver to the payload bay. Okay, Kevin, I think you're about five feet away from the uh, nadir of the truss and about uh, four feet away from the expansion camera system. Copy. Thank you. And you are clear. Line into the payload bay. Okay, we're going to take him to a position to start a joint cast up. Thanks, guys. I'm going to hold off for me dressing the EP4 until the ammonia tank is out of the way. Sounds good. I'm happy with my clearance. I'm going to remove the Okay, Danny. And once you're out and get your uh, waist tether, then we're going to head back over and close this round. Copy. STS-128 mission specialist Christopher Fugel saying getting quite the view now as he makes his way back toward Discovery's payload bay with his spent ammonia tank assembly. Denny Olivas, meanwhile, moving hand over hand uh, down the station's structure back toward the payload bay. Discovery and the International Space Station now passing 222 miles above the South Pacific Ocean. You see Olivas down there in the bottom of the payload bay. Fugel saying there right above him, still holding the old ammonia tank assembly. The structure at the back of Discovery's payload bay that they're going to attach this old tank to is called the Lightweight Multi-Purpose Experiment Support Structure Carrier, or LMC for short. It's basically a customized uh, stowage platform that goes in the very back of the shuttles. Okay, good direction. Into the payload bay. Copy. Okay. And uh, stop the ass. Happy. Down. Down. Down right there, I, I think we can move it down. Can you, do you reach it? I can reach it. All right. What about you just drag? Okay. Hold this and 
right there. I'm holding. We're going to try and get the thing in manually from here. Okay, Christian? Yep. I'm pulling starboard. Okay. And then bolt one and bolt two. Bolt two oh, sorry, bolt three, bolt four are in. And bolt one and two are open. You guys are sure you're uh, solid with the arm? I'm going to take the brakes on. Yeah. Yep. Mission is complete. Thank you. Brakes are on. Thanks for a long, nice ride, smooth flying. I'm glad to be. It's over right now. And Christopher, once you're out, if you can GCA the arm to the uh, cleanup position for your tether swap. All right, I'll do that. Both one. Nineteen turns and two decimal five on towards. Copy. I think it was nineteen point eight turns if you want more. Closer. In fact, Daddy, I am a three or seven. Copy, Danny. Okay, here comes bolt number two. This is a shot of Christopher Fugel saying still down inside Discovery's payload bay, wrapping up the activities on this old ammonia tank assembly. While he is doing that, Danny Olivas is up on the S1 truss, working on an ammonia tank assembly up there. Copy. What you want? There is a uh, stubborn bolt up there that uh, is holding that ammonia tank assembly in place. He was supposed to remove it, but uh, they're going to skip that activity, bump that to uh, STS-131. is facing aft and zenith. And what he's doing now is removing some uh, bolts to where a uh, fixed grapple bar is going to be affixed to this ammonia tank assembly. This uh, fixed grapple bar, as you can see toward the uh, top right part of your screen, will allow the uh, robotic arm to reach out and grab onto the uh, ammonia tank assembly, just like what was done during this mission with uh, both the old tank and the new tank. And station Discovery on the big loop with some happy news. The new ATA has been checked out. It's fully integrated and is doing well. Our Stuck and Mech team has looked at that bolt number three on the uh, old ATA, and it's perfectly good for landing, so that's all good. And we're about 50 minutes ahead of the timeline. Great job, everybody. All right. Good, good job, you. Good job, Ben. Welcome to uh, Flight Day 7 Highlights for STS-128. It's been a great mission. We're getting closed in inside with them so that we can help them with all the procedures and get them ready to go outside on EVA-2. We had another big day in the MPLM today. Uh, there's CJ coming out with a piece of equipment that's uh, going to be stowed somewhere on station. We're really filling it up. It's hard to believe there'll be room for the HTV in just a little while. There comes uh, Frank Devin. And as good as our training is and at the bench reviews we go to and we think we're going to remember everything that uh, we see, we get up here and it is so nice when we see some of the notes that uh, Marsha and her transfer team left for us. There I am. There's an example one of our notes where she reminds us to uh, take this microscope and put it in a bubble bag that's also in there. And uh, we follow everything that she tells us to do. There is the mic microscope and the bag that it goes in.